Hello, I'm Calm. Welcome to my third video in the basics video series. This is actually Keyboard Keys Part 2. In this video, Apollo Creed decides he was embarrassed in the ring and he wants a rematch. Apologies, one part two. I'm just checking you're listening now. If you haven't already watched the other previous video on Keyboard Keys, I will list this in the description below. Here's a quick video to show you how to find the description. This is for PC users. If you are watching this on your phone or similar device, here's how to find it with either of those. This clip has been taken from how to YouTube on your smartphone. If you are unsure about anything on YouTube, watch this, it explains the majority of it. What? More than 15 minutes? Yep, they are. Honestly though, even if you have been using computers for years, they are worth watching. And if you are new to the scene, the one on mice will be beneficial for you to watch also. I'll list that too. If you have people asking you for help with this kind of stuff, maybe you can refer them onto this channel by pressing this icon and sharing it with them on whatever medium you wish. Or you could just tell them. In this video, I intend to go through a few of the key combinations with some of the modifier keys. Also, provide a little help with online applications, as this seems to be the way that everything is going these days. When I say a few of the combinations, I mean a few. I am going to try and keep these videos to around 8 minutes or less. I am currently using Windows 10 and will be using the keyboard and mouse for this demonstration. For the examples I use Word. If you haven't got Word but you've watched the previous videos, can you remember the alternative? So firstly with these online forms it can be hard to see where the cursor is. So let's change that. Whilst we're at it let's change the mouse pointer as well. So left click into the Cortana box, type in settings. There we go on my clicky keyboard, press enter, that brings this box up, now select ease of access, change the size and colour of your cursor and mouse pointer, right and just slide this pointer across by left clicking and holding, I'm going to put it down to number 4, what I'll do is I'll just show you how thick it is at the moment, so click in there see how thick it is, it's only a thin line, so if we go across and select number 4, click back in you see how thicker it is now? I'm going to change the pointer size and colour as well. So I'm going to select this one just to change it to the largest one. I'm also going to change the colour of the pointer as well. So I'll click in here. I'm just going to close this with pressing on the uh, X in the top right hand corner. So now, can you see how the mouse pointer has changed? When you go into a light area, it goes black. And when you go into a dark area, it goes white. A lot easier to see. So I'm just going to go back into the Cortana box. Type in here Word. I click your keyboard. And I'm going to select Word from here. Just selected a blank document. I'm just going to type a few sentences and I'll be straight back. Okay? Right, let's start with text manipulation first. We can learn this, and once we've learned this, we can transfer this skill to everything else, including online applications and things. Right, what we're going to do now is press Ctrl and A. So holding down Ctrl key and now pressing A. If you do this within a window or a field, it will highlight all the text within that window or field. Now, if you hold down Ctrl and press C, this will copy all of that highlighted text into memory. Move the cursor down underneath the text. So I'll click, left click here. Now if I press and hold control and now press V, it will paste all of that copied information where the cursor is. Say you want to delete part of a sentence, you can do this with the keyboard or mouse. With the keyboard, let's delete to rest from the second line. Use the cursor keys find the two rest bit, we go across, just clicky 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 with the sound of my keyboard, hold down the shift key, right cursor and that's all highlighted. Now if I press backspace, now I'll do the same again but with the mouse. So I move the cursor up here and we will left click, highlight all that and now if I press backspace, but no that was a mistake, it looked better before didn't it? Don't panic Mr. Manning, we have a solution. Hold control and now press Z. Magic, it's returned. Let's keep going, I'm not too sure how far this will go but let's try. Pressing down control and now I'm pressing Z or Z and to rest has appeared in the bottom paragraph. So if I press Z again, oh that's disappeared, I didn't want to do that. Don't panic. We have a solution for this as well. If I press and hold down control and press Y, that text reappears like magic. Wow, these really are magic keys. These undo and redo are great features to remember. 
think everyone at some time has typed a sentence or a paragraph even highlighted it all to copy it somewhere else but instead you've made a mistake and just pressed a key by mistake and it's all gone replaced by a single letter now you know you can fix it I certainly have done this a lot in the past and wasted time retyping it all but just by control and pressing Z it's returned earlier we deleted part of a sentence but what if we just wanted to swap things around within a sentence we can if you use Control and X this cuts highlighted text and copies it to memory to use later on for example let's move around the rugged rock to the beginning of the sentence I'm just using my cursor keys here up and down so I'll go to the beginning of the sentence from the front and I'll go right click while I'm pressing down shift and pressing the right cursor key right now I'm going to press control X right now I'm going to move the cursor to the beginning of the sentence and now I'm going to press control and then V to paste there we go around the rugged rock the ragged rascal ran right so I'm just going to do the same with the mouse so I'm just going to left click and hold here at the beginning of around so if you just press and hold the right mouse button down it does actually bring this menu so I'm going to do is press cut from here with the left click and then I'm going to left click the cursor at the beginning of the sentence and now I'm going to right click just once and then select this one these are different paste options so I'm just going to paste it there so I ran the rugged rock the rugged rascal ran there we go let's say you're about to complete several forms or you fill a lot of website forms in regularly on the internet Remember, this is just a suggestion. Maybe create a notepad file with all your regular, not too personal information in. With a file like this, you can just copy and paste the information across from one page to the other. This will help if you're scared of misspelling or inputting wrong digits. It's particularly good if, like me, you're a bit hopeless at remembering phone numbers. Right, I'll have to wrap it up here. I hope you enjoyed and benefited from this. If you know someone else that will, please share using the arrow icon below. Remember to hit that like button. Please leave a comment if you will. Maybe you have a suggestion for which keys I should cover next. If you are a new viewer, welcome. Please press that subscribe button as well. I'm calm. Have a good morning, afternoon or good evening. Farewell till next time. See you later.